Hello everyone and welcome to another Weight Watcher friendly recipe. Now today's recipe is going to be for spicy meatloaf and it comes directly from the WW app. Now originally when I was going to make this I wasn't going to make any changes to it. I've changed my mind on not making changes and I am going to make a couple additions to their recipe as well as another couple minor changes. So the recipe builder link that I'm going to have down in the description box below is going to link to this recipe and be reflective of my changes to it. So anyway, this looked really good. Looks really easy too. So let me jump in real quick and show you what you're going to need to make it. So first off, you're going to need one and a half pounds of a lean ground beef. I'm using 93% lean. You could also use a lean ground turkey, chicken, whatever you want. But again, you're going to need one and a half pounds of a lean ground meat. Next up, you're going to need a cup of uncooked rolled oats or old fashioned oats. And then here I've got an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And then here is a seven ounce can of diced green chilies. You're going to need one large egg. And then this is one of my additions to it. I'm going to be adding some jalapenos to mine to the top of it just for a little extra kick. You could definitely use fresh if you, if you have or want. This is all I've got on hand. So I'm just using the pickled or jarred jalapenos. Next up, I'm gonna be adding about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And then this is another one of my additions. I'm gonna be putting a half cup of salsa in this just for a little extra flavor. I think that would go well. And then you're gonna need two teaspoons of ground cumin and a tablespoon of chili powder. And then lastly, you're gonna need some cooking spray for your pan. And that is everything that's in this. So let me get it started. And I forgot my medium onion that I just diced up, pretty small pieces. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a standard size bread pan and I'm gonna get that sprayed with some cooking spray so it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna just set that aside. So in a large bowl here, what I'm gonna do is simply dump all of my ingredients in minus half of the tomato sauce and my pickled jalapeno. So I'm gonna start off with my one and a half pounds lean ground beef, my egg, my cup of oats, half cup salsa, diced green chilies, red onion, about half of that tomato sauce, two teaspoons ground cumin, tablespoon chili powder, and a teaspoon minced garlic. And now we're gonna just mix all that together. I'm actually going to mix mine with my hands. So I've got gloves here, because I just think that's gonna do a whole lot better job than a utensil. So I'm gonna get this all mixed together really well and then I will be back. I've got this all mixed together well, so now I'm gonna take my bread pan and I'm gonna just place this in it. And kind of just press it down in here, smooth it out. Okay, that is ready to go into my preheated oven at 375. And I believe it says to bake for about 60 minutes uh, before putting the sauce on. So we'll go ahead and put this in for 60 minutes and then I will be back to finish it up. Also, I'm gonna put this on a cookie sheet so if any of this boils over, it's not gonna make a huge mess in my oven. I'll let this cook for 60 minutes. And now I'm gonna take my remaining tomato sauce. I'm gonna pour that on the top. And I'm just kind of spread it on there evenly. Now I'm gonna take my jalapenos and I'm gonna just lay these on the top. And obviously, if you don't like jalapenos or you don't want that extra heat, you can definitely skip this. Okay, now I'm gonna put that back in the oven at 375 still, and I'm gonna cook it an additional five minutes or so just to get that topping all nice and heated. 
I let this bake an additional five minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let it rest for another five, 10 minutes before I try to cut a piece out. But I will be back shortly to show you what a serving is and we'll give it a little taste and see how it tastes. All right, I let this rest just a few minutes. See if I can get a good shot so you can see what it looks like inside. It smells really, really, really good. So a serving size of this is an eighth, which is what I've got here. And that is gonna be four points. I'll go grab my heavy and we'll give this a taste. See how it tastes. Like I said, it smells really good. So I'm hoping it's gonna taste really good too. Thanks for watching. Okay. Oh. Say hi. Hi. Hopefully I'm not, yeah, I'm not too zoomed in on you. Get an apple. Don't lick my fingers. <laughs> oh. Now everybody knows how much I like with meatloaf, right? From the last video. Well, anybody that saw the last meatloaf, I'll try and link the other uh, meatloafs that we've done on here. There's been at least two. Well, see, this is beef and not turkey. Yeah. Now that we've got that half of beef, I've switched to uh, the lean ground beef instead of the oh, lean boy. turkey. Well, I'm going to guess that you like it just based on <laughs> the amount yeah, I'm of trying to pick up any of the jalapeno. Well, it's only on the top. Oh, that's why then. So that's why you're only picking it. And I thought about putting it in too. But there's chilies, there's green chilies inside, so I, I figured that well. that was probably enough. Yeah, that's really good. Good? Yeah. I'm not. I made some meatloaf. I'm gonna steal your fork. It's a really good meatloaf. Take a bite. I got a little bit of heat now from that pepper I ate. Um, what about the four points for that? Oh, yeah. I'd eat it if it was six. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm hmm. It is nice to, uh, we haven't had ground beef in so long. Oh, I stole your own fork. <laughs> oh, it's dripping. Ah! Anyway, we've done the ground turkey for what, years, years now? Yeah. So the ground beef is so good. You do get obviously more fat with it, but. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be 93% lean, but again, it's from the butcher. So we gotta just, you know. Not an exact science. It's not exact science. We're gonna go with what we told them we wanted it to be, which was 93. But anyway, yeah, that's really good. Um, I don't think it's too too spicy, really. No, not at all. Um, I mean, if you had somebody that was sensitive to that, you just don't eat the peppers on the top. Yeah, you just omit the jalapenos, and then it wouldn't be really spicy at all. So I'm kind of surprised they call this spicy because to me, not too spicy. No, is this does it have rotel in it? No, but I thought about putting Rotel in it too. I put salsa. I think instead of salsa, you could definitely do Rotel and I think that would be good too. Rotel little... ends up, to me, Rotel ends up being a little more spicy than it advertises. Yeah, so I think Rotel would be a good choice. Yeah. But anyway, that was yummy, I think. Definitely we'll be doing this one again. Spicy meatloaf. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.